Our journey begins at NASA's Ames Research Center in the heart of Silicon Valley. Here, scientists are on a mission to study the ocean's surface like never before. And to do that, they'll need to take one of these. What's up, everybody? What should I expect? We're going to fly about 20 north-south lines over the Pacific. Should be real enjoyable. In order for your safety, we want to have you in a NASA flight suit. In a flight suit. So uh, get that on. All right, got to follow orders. We'll go put this thing on. NASA's S-Mode mission, short for Sub-Mesoscale Ocean Dynamics Experiment, don't worry, I didn't understand it either, deploys a fleet of aircraft, ships, and marine robotics to observe how eddies, whirlpools, and currents interact with the atmosphere and will ultimately shape the Earth's climate. NASA's deemed this work critical because while the surface makes up only 2% of the ocean, it's where nutrients, gases, and heat all converge, and that contributes to Earth's greenhouse effect. Holly Vender is NASA's lead scientist on today's mission. Check this out. What Holly's looking at right now is what? It's the little portal that you're going to do experiments through? Yeah, it's the window to our instrument. So that's what's be looking down at the ocean. You basically got to make sure that it's clean. Squeaky clean. And after a series of final checks, we're cleared for takeoff. All right, we're off to the races. We're heading out over the Pacific. We're going to take a look at what's happening out in the ocean. Holly and Regina got their instruments up and running. Oh, on. Only a matter of time before uh, experiments get underway. The plane flies at an altitude of 39,000 feet and crisscrosses a patch of ocean 100 miles off the coast. But in order to collect data, the equipment requires clear skies above and below. There's plenty of clouds down there right now, and that's not an ideal situation for the instruments to get the measurements that they want. So we're going to continue to head west until we get to an area that doesn't look as much uh, like we see down below us right now. Up in the cockpit, pilots Greg Slover and Brian Baxley work in lockstep with the scientists. We're going to be directly over uh, clear blue ocean, and we really don't want clouds above us either, do we? That's right. That also affects their data collection ability because they need that sunlight glint off the uh, waters. A few minutes later, we found exactly what we were looking for crystal clear conditions. With our instrument, we get this really, really high resolution color image of the ocean. And so would that be considered part of the weather of the ocean, what you're looking at? Exactly. So very similar to how you have different fronts moving through, that's exactly what we're looking at in the ocean. After about an hour executing the flight plan, Holly and Regina Eckert put the finishing touches on their research. So we're on our final line right now? Final line of the day. You can't see it with the naked eye, but once we get back down on the ground and analyze all the data that was collected, that's what you're going to be able to see. Yeah, we could crystal see, clear. We could see uh, you know, amounts of chlorophyll or uh, phytoplankton. So at this point, we'll stop recording, and that'll do it for today. We've stopped recording on our final line, so you are clear to maneuver. Copy and confirm it's just RTB from here. RTB, copy. Okay, coming right. Return to base, right? Am I right? That's it. Yes. <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> In unfortunate news, they did not let me keep the flight suit. Uh, NASA has only been flying this particular S-Mode mission since 2019. It's already generated useful data, though. In fact, Holly and Regina, they just sent us some images from our flight. I think we have them. Yeah, check this oh, out. Wow. So cool. On the left, that's what you see with the human eye. On the right, the onboard instrument is extremely powerful. What we're looking at on the right, we see normally three color channels, and it can measure hundreds of different color channels, which mm. means it's able to pick up plankton and other particulate on the ocean surface. All of this data over time is going to help in inform scientists about the role that the ocean surface plays in our climate and they think that if it's like, it's like a sponge it can help slow down climate change they're trying to mm. study exactly what degree uh, that's true though that is fascinating that is cool. did, did, she, did they say you were hired is that what they said they said i was okay, hired i just want to make sure i heard that but properly. they said i should iron my flight suit <laughs> oh uh, flight suit <laughs> if Roker great were job. Here, he'd have one word science, <laughs> science. Exactly. science. All right. thank you jacob right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.